If you aren't prohibited from owning a gun, you can make your own for your personal use. And no one, including the government, needs to know about it. Tonight, the Defender's Garrett Berger shows you the technology that makes it easy for hobbyists and others to make their own weapons. No serial number, no record, no problem. They're called ghost guns. They're legal, and thanks to new technology, easier than ever to make. If you can run a computer, you can run a ghost gun. Cody Wilson and his organization, Defense Distributed, are behind the Ghost Gunner, a $1,500 CNC mill that finishes milling this hunk of aluminum called a receiver blank into the lower receiver of an AR-15, the part considered to be the gun. Add on the other parts, and you have yourself a working firearm. Side by side, you can see the difference between the traditionally manufactured lower receiver and the one made by the Ghost Gunner. But according to Wilson, there really is no functional difference. Defense Distributed has tackled 3D printing too, previously releasing plans on its website for a functioning 3D printed gun. They were downloaded more than 100,000 times before the U.S. State Department requested Wilson remove them, saying the organization may have violated weapon export controls by putting the files online. Defense Distributed is currently suing the government in federal court over that. And while gun sales are regulated and often require background checks, Wilson says his organization made sure they got the ghost gunner classified to be regulated as little as possible. So basically, that, that machine can go anywhere in the world. That machine can travel and... There would be nothing illegal about even felons or other people getting it. However, the software to finish the receiver does have tougher regulation. And if you're thinking of making these for sale, the ATF requires anyone, quote, engaged in the business as a manufacturer to be licensed. But if no one knows these guns exist, no one knows who has them either, or if they should. You don't know. You, you didn't know before. You will continue not to know now. For the Defenders, Garrett Bernger, KSAT 12 News. Now, Wilson claims Defense Distributed has shipped more than 650 ghost gunners so far. More than 2,000 have been ordered. Later tonight in the show, the defenders will show us what the spread of this technology and ghost guns themselves could mean for gun owners and for gun control. Five dead from a homemade gun. That was the death toll in Santa Monica after a man who wasn't allowed to legally buy a gun assembled his own AR-15 around a lower receiver he made with a drill press and other tools. Just two years later, there are easier ways to make homemade, unserialized ghost guns. As the Defender's Garrett Berger showed you earlier tonight, so as for some push for more home manufacturing and others urge the practice to slow down, what does the future hold? Built off the books, there's no way to know how many ghost guns are out there or who has them. But how often are they used in crimes? The ATF says it's aware on serialized guns have been recovered after crimes, but has no stats on how many. However, neither the Bear County Sheriff's Office or the San Antonio Police have seen them. The group Texas Gun Sense is concerned new technology means another way to get guns under the radar. When there's a bonfire, do you need to pour gasoline on it? Building your own firearms isn't new, but new technologies make it easier for laymen. But the maker of the Ghost Gunner CNC mill doesn't believe it makes financial sense right now for someone to use his machine to build a gun for crime. You're not going to buy a $1,500 Ghost Gunner, make a $1,000 rifle, then go knock over the jewelry store, all right? You're going to get that Saturday night special. For some, home manufacturing is a way of ensuring their Second Amendment rights are always available. It's not there to go shoot and hunt deer. It's there to shoot back at a tyrannical government if the time comes. Murdoch Pisgotti believes as more ghost guns are made, serialization and registration requirements could fall by the wayside. I think it, it just, it makes it kind of uh, impossible to do the present laws in most states. Texas Gun Sense recommends the opposite. They want all homemade guns registered and background checks for their owners, as well as people buying parts that can be used to make a gun. I hate to think where it could go in the future, uh, but I'm very terrified if we do nothing and let it continue on the path that it's on. Who knows what we'll end up with. For the Defenders, Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Now California legislators passed a bill on homemade guns in 2014. That bill would have required a person to get a serial number for their homemade gun and register it. However, Governor Jerry Brown vetoed that idea, saying he did not see how adding a serial number would significantly advance public safety.